here's a person who's going to be dealing with some of that weather. It's Maryland's Republican governor, but he's got other things on his mind. He says he has serious doubts that President Trump can win a second term. Larry Hogan was reelected in November by double digits in a blue state with one of the largest minority populations in the country. Only on CBS This Morning, Hogan reveals he is hearing from people who think he should consider a primary challenge to the president. Ed O'Keefe spoke with the governor at the Maryland State House this morning. Ed is in Washington. Ed, good morning. Good morning, John. 62-year-old Governor Hogan has won supporters on both sides of the aisle for his straight-talking style. In recent months, he's renewed his concerns about President Trump. This week, for example, Maryland became the only state led by a Republican governor to sue the Trump administration over the national emergency over border security. You know, I, I think the president made some real mistakes here, and I don't think it, uh, declaring this, uh, using the declaration of emergency powers is the right thing to do, and I think it should be challenged. So in your view, it's not a national emergency? Well, it's certainly not. We've exaggerated uh, the, what's going on at the border, but we do have some issues down there. And here's my dad. Standing you up to a president of his own this party is something the governor learned from his father, former Congressman Lawrence Hogan. Republicans were mad as heck at him for decades, really, some of them, and, and never, you know, the, the White House was pretty furious. But in retrospect, people say, man, what courage. Who in 1974 became the first Republican congressman to publicly call for Richard Nixon's impeachment. No man, not even the president of the United States, is above the law. I probably learned more about integrity in one day from watching my dad during that crisis. Uh, than most people learn in a lifetime. Now, Hogan believes many in today's Republican Party have forgotten his father's lesson. I do believe that there are people in Congress and other leaders in the Republican Party uh, who, who have not stood up when they disagree or when they think that the president is doing something wrong. I've not been afraid to do that. Well, let me ask you this, since you're such a straight shooter. <laughs> is the president fit to be president? Look, I'm not in any uh, position to judge the the, uh, the fitness of the president. You know, I've been pretty clear. I don't like uh, the tone that the president uses. I, I, I think there are times where he acts irrationally and, and makes decisions that are not only not, uh, and, and, and does things in a way that aren't great for the Republican Party or for the country or for him and his agenda for that matter. I mean, I think sometimes he can be his own worst enemy. So are you thinking about running for president in 2020? I was just sworn in a month ago uh, for my second term. Um, I've got a lot of work to do here in Maryland. Wow. I would say I'm being approached from a lot of different people. Um, and I guess the best way to put it is I haven't thrown them out of my office. In 2016, Hogan was one of the most high profile Republican office holders to withhold support for then candidate Trump's nomination. And little has changed. Would you support him for re-election? I, I don't uh, see uh, how my position would change much from before. I haven't uh, become more supportive than I was four years ago. I would say uh, the election is nearly two years away. Uh, I don't know who the nominees in either party are going to be. You say you're not certain who the nominees are going to be. Do you know something we don't about the president? Not yet. <laughs> um, Do you know who they're both going to be? No, I think it's fair. <laughs> if the special counsel report, though, came back and found pretty troubling evidence against the president, would that be a moment at which maybe you have to think... Somebody has I to think we'll, I, I don't want to speculate. I think you would see a number of potential uh, challengers uh, in the Republican Party consider jumping in. So if anything, you're issuing him a warning. Mm, that, I didn't the numbers mean it, keep going I didn't down. mean it like that. I'm, I was giving him some friendly advice. Hogan is set to take on a far more prominent role in the coming months as head of the National Governors Association. As part of that job, he's scheduled to visit Iowa early next month. And Nora, as we like to say in this business, nobody in politics visits Iowa by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Nor does he allow any words to be put in his mouth. Ed, really interesting interview. Thank you so much.